here and I wanted to share this quick video with you because uh, many people who've known me for a while have been asking me how I've managed to predict so many things that have happened with the economy over the past few years and how I've managed to make a small fortune in the process while most people have lost a big piece of their portfolio or a substantial amount of their retirement savings. Well, grab a pen and some paper real quick because I'm going to show you exactly how I've managed to do that. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and number on your paper one through seven, and then please write down these two numbers, 280 and the number nine. All right, so essentially I've been studying the economy and investing like a madman since 2007 once I learned about the inevitable implosion of the mortgage industry, which is actually just one of many major issues that are going to have a huge impact on your financial position in the coming, I'd say, six to 36 months. Well, the reason for the haste for me is that the biggest disasters always bring about the biggest opportunities, which is why more people became millionaires during the last Great Depression than any other time in history. So the only difference between then and today is that the scope of this disaster and the scope of the opportunity for people like you and I is even greater. So here's how I knew this was coming. Since the beginning of recorded history, every major empire like America has gone through a seven-stage life cycle, and you can actually track that by the state of its currency. So in stage number one, a country starts out with good money, which is either gold or backed by gold. So we're going to write that down real fast, which is good money. And then you move on to stage number two, and as a nation develops economically and socially, it begins to take on more and more economic burdens, adding layer upon layer of public works projects and social programs, okay? So we're going to do social programs for stage number two, and that obviously brings us to stage number three. As that nation and its economic affluence grows, so does its political influence around the world, and it increases expenditures to fund a massive military, okay? So we're going to put massive military for stage three. And then in stage four, eventually, it puts that military to use and expenditures explode. We saw this, obviously, in the case of World War II, Vietnam, World War I for Germany. Uh, we all get the point there. So we're going to do expenses go way up thanks to the military costs and that brings us to stage number five to fund those wars that, which are essentially the costliest of man's endeavors it has to steal the wealth of its people by replacing their money with currency that can be created in unlimited quantities now for number five let's put fiat right there and that essentially means uh, money that is not backed by anything. It's just paper currency. Now, finally, the wealth transfer caused by this expansion of the currency supply is felt by the population as severe consumer price inflation, and that triggers a loss in the faith of the currency. Now, the United States went to a fiat currency and left the gold standard uh, essentially back in 1971 under President Nixon, and he did that to help pay for Vietnam. So as we've seen, we've followed this seven stage progression very closely. So that brings us to stage number six, which is again, loss in faith, excuse me, loss of faith in the currency. And then that finally, that brings us to stage number seven. And essentially at this point, an en masse movement out of the currency into precious metals and other tangible assets and commodities takes place. The currency collapses and massive wealth is transferred to those who had enough foresight to position their money into the right asset class beforehand. Now we're going to put right here, end of currency and inflation. All right, so these are the seven stages. And we are right here between stage number six and stage number seven. Now, the primary symptom of stage number six is price inflation. And I don't know if you've noticed this, this or not, or if you've seen the headlines, uh, but during the calendar year of 2010 alone, we've already seen a massive spike in the average commodity price uh, of food, which on average increased by 46% in that 12-month period alone. 
Here already in 2011, we've seen record prices for rice and wheat. Uh, we've seen Egypt <laughs> essentially collapse because of food prices and food inflation. So we are clearly right here, and this is due to everything that Ben Bernanke and the Federal Reserve has been doing uh, with the U.S. dollar and our currency. So knowing this back in 2007, I was able to position my money into certain asset classes that increased in value as the economy and the dollar sank helping me earn a return of around 280% while most of the rest of the world lost 30 to 40%. And if history is any indicator, I expect that 280% to end up closer to 28,000% by the time this is all over. And I'm going to explain why in a much more detailed presentation you'll have an opportunity to see here in just a few minutes. Now, here's the critical piece to pay attention to. The move from stage six to stage number seven um, which has already begun, is going to represent the largest transfer of wealth in the history of mankind from people who don't understand what's going on to the few who do. So if you just stand still and keep doing what you've been doing, stage number seven represents bankruptcy for you. I'm sorry to say, but make no mistake about it, this gap right here represents the opportunity of your lifetime. And if you want to get the full story and the timeline of what's coming and how to position yourself to profit, I'm going to be hosting a 90-minute free presentation this week that will change the financial destiny of you and your family just as it already has for me. It's extremely detailed presentation and in fact here's uh, a couple of the things that we're going to go over. Uh, first and foremost, how you can get extremely, extremely rich during times of economic turmoil, even if you don't have a lot of money to invest. It's not a prerequisite. Information is, though. Uh, one of the other topics we're going to cover is what's going to happen to the economy in the next 6 to 36 months uh, that will bankrupt, in my opinion, 95% of the population, and how you can protect your wealth. Now, if that sounds a little bit extreme, I totally get that. Uh, but do keep in mind that this transfer has already happened in 30 different countries in the last 100 years alone and twice in the United States. So there's quite a precedent for this type of thing happening extremely, extremely often. Uh, a third topic that we're going to be covering is how I've increased my wealth by 280% since 2008. Again, while most people lost 30 to 40% of their savings and how you can do the same. Uh, we're going to cover why you'd have to be uh, in my opinion, crazy to put your money in the stock market right now, except for a few uh, very key stocks, uh, which I'll be going over as well. We're going to cover Roth IRAs and 401ks. You're going to learn uh, what I call a secret black box investment strategy that the rich use to grow their money and retire 100% tax-free, even if the stock market crashes to zero. So we'll be covering that as well. We're going to cover the top five challenges facing the United States economy and how to protect yourself from them. We're going to cover how you could have turned a, I believe it was $20,000, $20,663 investment uh, into $770,000 in just nine years back in 1980. That cycle is repeating again, and this time it's going to be even bigger. All right, we're going to show you how that took place and how you can do it today. We're also going to go over uh, what's going to happen soon that will make the price of silver jump from its current price today to around $936 per ounce and gold from its current price to around $56,000 per ounce. All right. Finally, we're going to cover how you can ensure that your children are going to grow up wealthy even if you're not wealthy today. We're going to go over strategies that the Rothschilds family use to ensure that wealth um, and we're going to apply the same ones so your family can benefit for generations and generations. We're going to cover a very, very easy way to buy cash flow assets like apartment complexes um, and businesses even if you don't know much about real estate or owning a business. And finally, the three things that you must immediately do if you want to profit from what is the largest wealth transfer in human history that's taking place right now today. The bottom line is that I'm absolutely disgusted by what the banks, the politicians, and the Wall Street sharks are doing to the great families of America. And I'm making it my mission in life to provide as many people as I can with real information about money, about investing, and about the economy so that we can all prosper in this great time of change. 
Now, the last time I showed this presentation, over 85,000 people from 168 different countries tuned in to see it because they want to understand what's happening and how to turn these challenges into massive opportunity. So if you'd like to get this week's schedule for when this free presentation is going to air again, simply enter your name and email address below and I will place you on the invite list. Thank you so much for your time today. And if you resonate with this message and this mission, please share this page with those you care about. We'll see you soon. Take care.